Oh my God, I'm making no sense. I Piper just broke through. Everybody, it's PJ and you're getting ready with me today, today, today. I decided to try and put eyeliner on from ColourPop and it's like this, um, I don't think I can even see it, but I really kind of like it anyway. It's not like eyeliner, like black eyeliner where you'd be like, oh, look at her cat eye. It's like, it's like made of like coppery color. So I really think it's pretty and I'm not sure what to do with it. So I just keep playing. <laughs> Like I have time. I woke up at 4.30. Why? Because I was fucking traveling again. And as much as I love to travel, sometimes traveling in a weekday makes me exhausted. I used to have this old app on my phone where it was like a chakra cleanse. And I can't find it. And I keep looking for it. And I can't remember the name of it or anything. It's not the Australian guy who I have all his stuff now. It it's this, um, it's like this American man talking and he does this great chakra cleanse. I remember when I came home from the hospital for my hand, I was listening to it and I started to travel again. I was like, okay, here I go. But, uh, so I've been looking for it because it was so, it had binaural waves in it and it was like really easy to travel and I cannot for the life of me find it. I've really tried and I can't find it. So that makes me sad because, or I can't so far find it. Oh, I'm shaking this thing. So anyway, um, but I was looking for it last night. So I put on like chakra cleanse on my pad, my iPad thing. And um, I was like, all right, let me just close my eyes and do this, even though it wasn't the one I wanted. But apparently it just kept going all night because I fell asleep. And then when I became aware of myself, I was like, oh, shoot. And it had gone down the list of all of them. You know how that happens? So now it was on some other chakra cleanse video. I don't know how many of them had gone through the night, but... I'm traveling so I come to myself and I'm in my room and I'm like oh I'm traveling I wonder if I this is what I thought I wonder if I found the chakra cleanse video I've been looking for so I listened for a minute but it wasn't the guy so I was like oh well and um so then I was like well where do I want to go what do I want to do so I thought I want to uh, normally normally it always has to do with Jeff like, I want to go see Jeff. I want to be with Jeff. Even if it's not what I'm thinking right then and there, it's so close to there that it happens. I somehow get connected to where I, like, want to, to him. Even if I'm not, like, saying it right then and there, I guess it's so much in my consciousness that it just doesn't stop there's no end to it so anyway so I I think to myself stop it because I felt myself going and I was like no that's not what you want and it wasn't it was not what I wanted I didn't want to go to Jeff I wanted to go where Bob Monroe went and that's what I said to myself okay so take me to where Bob Monroe goes like take me because in his books he describes like all these places he went and I wanted to go to one of those places so as soon as I said it the next thing I know I am like basically in a garden I want to say it's like a garden it's got um there's like green everywhere beautiful lawns but it's landscaped it's not like a like when I say a garden, it's not like the Garden of Eden. It's not raw or wild. It's all done up. It's like lilacs and wisteria and all these. There's like a, um, a lake, which is funny because when I, um, although it wasn't the same lake, but when I like was dying on the table, um, I went to like a man-made kind of, or man-made, I don't know who made it, but this like lake, but it wasn't very big. And across the lake, I knew my dad was coming for me, like 
on the other side of water. So water is really important. And if you notice, that's all I want is to live near water, to be near water, you know, like that's my whole gig. I love it. So I don't know why water keeps coming up in my life, in my other life, in my second life that I live out at night. I don't know why, but it's there. It's real because it just keeps coming up. So anyway, um, that was like, what I asked for. So then I was in this magnificent, okay, English kind of garden, maybe like it didn't, it looked, I've never been in an English garden, but that's what it reminded me of. It reminded me of an English garden. And so, um, I was like, oh wow. So I started walking around and across the lake or it's a big lake across the lake. I could see people walking around. It was so cool. But what was surprising was what I realized they were wearing. So many of them were in hospital gowns. So I was like, is this where you wait until you like go on? Because he talks about that. Bob Monroe, he talks about um, like this way station that you go to. And whenever he would say station, I would think like a train station, but it's not a train station because he describes it as this garden. So I was like, oh my God, I'm at the way station. Only I'm on the other side of the lake. I was not, it was huge too. It was a big lake. So the people just looked real little, but it was not like I was next to them. I was definitely not next to them. And it was amazing how many people had um were just in those little open back hospital gowns so i think i was seeing people that were passing on right then like right in real time you know um and they were waiting and it was so peaceful and so beautiful and do you know why i saw that because i was talking to tim on sunday and he was saying like how much he wanted to do what I do. And I was like explaining things to him. I wasn't really explaining about this. Um, but he was like, we, when we were talking, I think I did bring up once like the, some of the things Bob Monroe was talking about because he wants to go for a week. Like you can go there for a weekend or a week. And he wants to go and get trained better, which is so cool. I'm like all about it. I actually had a weekend set up once with him and it snowed and we didn't end up going. And that's like the one thing I regret because I won't drive there. It's like up in the mountains somewhere in Virginia and I won't drive there by myself. But I'll link it below if you want to go. But they literally teach you how to do what I'm doing, but even on a more like... The whole thing about what I'm doing is you don't really have like 100% control about when you go or not. Sometimes I will like be traveling and then I just come to myself that, oh, I'm out of body. Like all, like I'll be thinking, I won't even be thinking I'm dreaming, but I'll be like dreaming. And then I realize, oh shit, you're not dreaming. You're out of body, which is a whole nother type of thing so um and then you can either continue with it you can go back and just not do it because the biggest thing for me is when I travel a lot um I get exhausted because it's not sleep and I don't know how else to tell anybody like you ain't sleeping yeah so Tim was like set it up let's go and I was like okay and then um uh, when I started to travel for the first time since talking to him Sunday what do I do? But I, I travel to where Bob Monroe talks about, like, I think it was in my head. Um, but anyway, yeah. So Tim and I are going to go to the Monroe Institute, uh, hopefully like this summer, I've got to look and see what's available for, I don't know. I'd like to just do a weekend at first and see if I like it. I don't want to be stuck there for five days if I'm like, okay, I'm over this. Um, but I don't think I will be over it, truthfully. I think it'll be really awesome. And, of course, I'll take you guys along.
But anyway, so I just watched them. That's what I did the, for like probably a good half hour. I watched people and I looked at where they were. It was so beautiful. And I also wondered if I'm not, if I wasn't allowed to cross. Like I wonder if that's a thing. I'll tell you why. Because when I was with Jeff once in the school, we were in a school and he was much younger. It wasn't that long ago. And he was much younger than he was when he passed. And he was like with his friends. And he looked like he was having just a ball. You know what I mean? Like, I really didn't want to interrupt him at that point. I feel like he was going through something in his past. And uh, like reliving a good time or something. But anyway, um, the girl would not let me into the auditorium. She like stopped me and said, it's not for you. I just watched and observed for a while. I didn't go anywhere else. I didn't look behind me. I kept thinking that too. Like, look behind, what's behind you? Like, would I have seen my bedroom? Would I, like, where was I? But I didn't do it. I just stayed looking ahead at these people milling around. There were benches and seats. Like, they could sit down. It was just awesome. It was just peaceful. And I felt like there was just all this, like, kind of, good feeling coming from there which really was it was just so awesome because we observe death in such a negative way i mean listen i observe death in a negative way it's not like i sit around going oh yeah you know i i can't wait to die that is not what i'm saying but i do think that that unknown or whatnot triggers fear in us and maybe that it's supposed to maybe it's um like a survival mechanism that if we're not fearful of it then everybody will just go drop dead but <laughs> i don't know but the other side to it is that i think that it's a good i think we know what it is truthfully i think we've been there before i don't think this is the first time we've all gone there i think that we're familiar and that that's why the stories are all the same with everybody and like even in religion they're so similar you know and so I think it's so similar and it gives us like a moral map I think that's what religions really is is a moral map I know I'm just rambling today 14 minutes of rambling oh you probably watch this for five. If you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life, hit the button down below and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Please give me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. A thumbs down if you don't. Either way, you're watching me manifest something wonderful in your life. I mean those words every day. If you know it, think it, believe it, you can have it too. Like a visit with an old friend, whether he's still in this earthly plane or not. All right. I love you guys. Bye.